Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, where today we are going to be talking about the books that I DNF'd in the month, month of February. Now, February, um, I knew was going to be a little bit higher for DN for the number of DNFs because I specifically chose books that I was not super excited about, as I am trying really hard to get through all the books on my physical TBR. And so these were on my physical TBR and I was like, super excited about them at one point. Just now I'm kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're not going to be so great. And so um, I chose all of those books for the month of February and I DNF'd four of them. Two of them I decided I just didn't want to read. And then I DNF'd the other four that fell into this category. So I mean, I guess that's how it goes. But we're going to talk about the ones that I actually DNF'd. And the first book is Touched by an Alien by Jeannie Koch, the first book in the Kitty Cat series. And I DNF'd this at page 28. The premise of this is that there are aliens in the world, right? So Kitty is like got jury duty. She comes out. She sees a domestic dispute. She's like, maybe I should get involved. And then the dude literally turns into a flying being, some kind of alien, and starts going on a rampage. She jumps into action, jumps on his back, stabs this weird looking anatomy thing, and then he dies. And then she's obviously whisked off by the super secret a agency that kind of deals with this. And that's where I stopped. I don't, I'm assuming that they recruit her. I don't really know what happens after that because I did not like it. Um, look, I went into this book knowing that it was going to be ridiculous, that I was going to have to suspend disbelief, that it was going to be like superhero levels of nonsense. And I was actually really okay with that. But like, I felt like the author wasn't even trying. So, you know, this guy transforms into an alien and she's like, Oh, look at that weird piece of anatomy. I bet you if I stab that, he'll die. And I was just like, it's an alien. They have, it's pretty much only weird pieces of anatomy because you don't know what they're like. Like, so what makes you think that that's going to be the place to stab? But then she, I'm like, you know, okay, cool. It doesn't matter. Like trying something is better than trying nothing. But then she like, she, and she stabs him and it's the right place and he dies. And then like everybody's like, well, how did you know? And instead of being like, well, I didn't really, but I, I figured it couldn't hurt. She's just like, oh, because I knew I'm like, mm, not loving that. And then she is more or less kidnapped by these guys from this agency. Like, and, and it, in this book, it actually like reads like she willingly goes along with them, but it's more or less a kidnapping. And she's like, not scared at all, which I'm like, that's, that's not believable. And then this agency, top secret agency, has the worst security in the world. Like, it was amazing. And then the writing itself, it leaned really hard into some stereotypes. Like, oh, women have really big purses and you can't find anything in them. Which is just like, oh, I don't really like that either. I mean... There was minimal world building or character building, even in these first 25 pages where, like, my expectations are pretty low anyway. It was mostly dialogue, and I was just like, you know, I just don't like it. Like, there's nothing for me to kind of hang on to. So I just decided to DNF it. After that, we do have Slunked by Jen Kalanita, the first book in the Fairy Tale Reform series. And me DNFing this is not actually, like, saying anything bad about this book because it is a middle grade book and I don't do middle grade books. I picked this up not knowing it was a middle grade book and once I found out it was a middle grade book, I still read it anyway and all the problems that I had were because it's a middle grade book and I just don't like how those are written. Like, if you like middle grade books, this might actually be good. It follows our main character and she lives in a shoe with like a bunch of siblings. And so she steals stuff to like, you know, so that they have enough money and then she gets caught. So she gets sent to the fairy tale reform school. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of epic hero quest that she goes on. I don't really know because I didn't get that far. I DNF'd it at page 96, but it, I don't think that it was bad as a book. It just really was so not 
for me and I shouldn't have picked it up in the first place, but it was a DNF. So I wanted to make sure that I showed it to you guys. But if you like middle grade books and that sounds somewhat interesting, you should definitely check it out. Like nothing bad about this book other than it was just not for me. And then after that, I do have Intertwined by Gina Showalter, the first book in the Intertwined series. And this was ridiculous. Like I knew, I read the description and it, it you, it's ridiculous. So basically our main character of Aiden has four souls living with him, within him. And like, they are very chatty. So he never like has a moment to himself and they have these supernatural powers. So he kind of does too. So like, he knows things like how people are going to die, <laughs> which he doesn't really love. And then he meets a girl and she quiets the voices. So of course he's very intrigued. And I saw all of that. And then apparently later, like, he's like, oh, I'm really bad for her. I shouldn't be pursuing this. And then there's like a vampire princess and a werewolf. And clearly things take a very weird turn. But in any case, I started this. And the first book, the first chapter was terrible. Like, it felt like it had not even been edited. Kind of terrible. And I was just absolutely appalled at the writing. It's like, that is not what I expected. And I do not like that. And so it's just like, okay, again, maybe it's a fluke. Let me read the second chapter. And I read the second chapter and the writing did get a little bit better, but it was still not great. And we met the, the female character and her friend, and I did not like them. And I was just like, that's, that's not good. And so it's just like, well, maybe, maybe it'll be fine. And so I read the third chapter and I realized I didn't like where the story was going. I didn't like Aiden either. So it's like, you know what? The writing style is not amazing. It's not, it's chap in chapters two and three, it, it wasn't terrible, but it was not amazing. And I'm just not going to slog through that for a storyline. I don't really care about in main characters that I already know that I'm going to have to struggle to find something good about them. And so I DNF this around page 62 after reading three chapters. I just could not do it. <laughs> and then lastly, the very last book that I DNF'd this month is Luminosity by Stephanie Thomas, the first book in the Raven Chronicles. And this book I went into super lackluster, partially because I didn't have a good um, description of it. Basically, all I knew was we were following our main character of Beatrice and she is a seer. And so she started having these visions when she was a younger teen and then her visions started coming true and now everything is different. And that's what I knew. And it turns out she's actually, um, this is a dystopian future and she's at, she and the other seers are at war with the dream catchers and I didn't find out why. I don't know. But like, so I walked in wondering, not, uh, not really thrilled about this book. And then I was immediately hit upside the head with this, um, the first chapter and I did not like it because it was describing the world. Like, I think it was Beatrice describing the world, but it was very vague and using terminology from her world that we don't have context to understand. So you could like, we could kind of get a little bit from it, but not a ton. We, there's still stuff missing. And I'm just not really that person that enjoys that. I'm like, you know what? Either explain the world and I will, I will, ab I'm all down for that. I love having world building stuff or don't explain the world and we'll just move along and you'll give it to me as we go along. But don't do this where you're just explaining it, but in a way that the reader can't really understand, especially when I haven't met the main character really. And I don't understand, I don't know what this story is going to be about. So I just don't care. Like you're giving me this world building that I don't care about. And then the second chapter happened and we met the dream catcher princess who apparently was walking around the city by herself for some unknown reason was caught, tortured for information and then executed. And I'm sitting here thinking, where are her guards? 
Where are the people protecting her? If she's a princess, where are these people? Why was she allowed to be in this city by herself? Or, like, why was she allowed to be captured, you know? Why wouldn't there be this huge fight when they tried to capture her? Anyway, so it's just like, that doesn't make sense. Or maybe she's just going to be resurrected later, and that's why she wasn't fearful about wandering around. But then we're dealing with a resurrection trope, and I don't really like that. And then I read a little bit more, and I it took about five more pages, because, by the way, I DNF'd this at page 25. <laughs> <laughs> so those that those two things happened within the first 15 to 20 pages. But I read a little bit more and I was just like, you know, I don't care. I don't care about where this book goes because I was I the author lost me in those first 20-ish pages. Like I just don't care about this story. And so I decided that I wasn't going to just I, I wasn't going to push myself through something that I just didn't care about. So I put it down. And that is it, you guys. Four books that I DNF'd this month, a little bit more than I normally do, but that's okay because I knew it was going to be a slightly heavier month. Um, let me know down below, have any of you read these books? Do they get better? Because like, I feel like maybe Luminosity would get better, but I, I just don't, I don't want to invest the time and find out I'm wrong. That was the thing. I don't want to invest the time and find out I'm, I'm wrong because then I'll be mad. So I just put it down. But let me know. Let me know down below if any of you have read this and let me know if they get better. But that is it, you guys. So until next time, have happy reading and I will see you in the next video. Bye.